Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one more problem from lead code. The problem name is degree of an array. So the problem goes like this, that you're given a non empty array of non negative integers nums such that the degree of this array is defined as the maximum frequency of any of its element. So if you take any of its element, whatever is the maximum frequency or the number of occurrence of that number in that whole array is the degree of this whole array. Fine. Your task is to find out a smallest possible length of a contiguous subarray of nums that has the same degree as of nums. Now it just means that you have to divide this whole or actually like lessen out the elements of nums such that you have to find another smaller con contiguous subarray of nums so that the degree of that array and the original array should remain the same. That's the overall problem. You can pause on this video, try to think of your own. Now what you have, you, what you can observe here is if we down, move down to the drawing board. Take the same example of the first one, two, two, three, one. So one, two, two, three, one. Now, instead of that, let's take one more, uh, two actually. Okay. Then we'll move down to the previous problem also. But what you can see here is that first I want to find out the degree of this whole array and for degree, I can find out in O of N. Uh, what I actually have to find out is whatever is the maximum occurrence of any number because that's the actual degree and we have to find out a smaller part that has the same degree. So we have to first find out the original degree now. So we have to find out what number is actually like occurring maximum number of time you can have done in, you can, you could have made a map and store that out, or you could have made a, a like a continuous array of the maximum length that you could have also done. If you just use a map, it will take O of N log in. What you could have done is iterate from left to right. And then for every number store the frequency in a map, update that. In the end, you know that the maximum is three, like three, like two is occurring three times. Okay. Two is occurring three times. Now what your final intuition is because two is occurring three times. I want to find out a sub part or a sub array of the soul array such that the frequency should or the degree should remain same. By degree, I means that because two is the maximum number that is occurring. I should find if I make any no, like sub array that is smaller and not consisting of all the twos. What will happen is the degree will decrease. Why? Because two is actually consisting of the degrees, like making the degree higher because two is occurring more times. So I should take two in the sub array, whatever I'm making. If I take all the twos, like from left, like left, just, uh, remove out the buffer element from the left and right and just take all only the sub part that is consisting of two, it will, will actually give me my answer. And thus we have shortened out the length. I hope you get the point. And that is one of the approach you can use here that you just have to find out the first occurrence and the last occurrence of the maximum occurring number. You have to first find out what is the maximum occurring number number that is giving us the frequency. If you find out that two is a number that is actually helping us to find out the frequency because two is occurring maximum number time. It is occurring three times. So if you find out somehow the first occurrence and last occurrence of two, you can just find out actually the length of this array that you have to find out because rest from the left and right, you can just read it out as a buffer elements and the middle elements will only be consisting of the sub array. But there's a catch here, which I actually find out that is here only that is just remove out two now from here, the last two, which I've added. Okay. Just remove out. Yeah. Now what you could have seen here is that in this scenario, there are two numbers, two numbers. So one is one, two nums, and one is two, both are having the same frequencies. What you can see here is that one is also occurring twice and two is also occurring twice. Now, if you take the same intuition that you find out the first occurrence of, let's say that you find out one first. Okay. You find out one first and you said that, okay, let us find out the first occurrence of one and one it because first occurrence of one is here. Second occurrence is here. And what you can, you, you could have done here is that you have to take the whole as a sub array, but that's not the correct answer. Because you could have taken two as your answer and just consisting of twos also, this is a smaller sub array and it, it has also has an in degree of two because like two is occurring two times. I hope you get the point. And thus there can be multiple options also. What I mean by this is that there are multiple numbers that have the same frequencies that can have different length of the sub arrays in the end. Okay. That has a different starting point and ending point. And depending upon that, we can like have smaller or larger sub arrays. And thus we have to just find out the smaller among all of them. And that is how you can build the logic around it. That instead of finding it for one element, 
we have to somehow find out the frequencies, the starting and the ending element of all the elements in the array. And in the end, we just find out what is the number that is having the maximum frequencies. And then for all of those numbers, you have to minimize the sub array that you are forming. Let us move on to the code part to even make it more clear, but that's the overall logic that you have to first find out the in each, like the starting and the ending element of every number as well as the frequencies of every number. We can do this in O of n log n, I'll tell you how. Secondly, we have to find out what is the frequency of this array. That is, let's say that it is 100. So then we'll find out all the numbers that are occurring 100 times that are having the frequency 100. And for all of those numbers, because you have stored the first and the last occurrence, we can directly find out the sub arrays, taking that number into account. And among all of those numbers that are actually fulfilling our frequency criteria, we will minimize the sub array that will be forming out. And that's the overall idea for this problem. Let us move on to the code part. So what we are doing here is that we are making a map. So there are three maps actually. First, second and count. First is showing out the first element, like the first occurrence of every number. Second is showing out the second occurrence, not second, but actually the last occurrence of every number. And count is showing out the count or the frequency of every number. Now what we are doing is that we are moving from left to right. If the number that we are on is the first time I'm seeing this number, which means that the count is not there, which means that I've not seen it there. I will update it in the first map that we are seeing it in the first time and we are updating its frequency like the index at which I'm seeing it. If I've already seen that number, it means that we have not like we have seen this number. This is not first number. We have to keep on appending it and changing it until we see the last occurrence of that. And for the last occurrence, we are like up changing that second in the second map. We are changing that number to I fine. We're changing that also for every number we have to also increment the frequency that is count is incrementing by one, which means that in the end, we're also seeing key, how many times the number is occurring in the end, because you have to also show the count. Then we have found out the count of first occurrence, the last occurrence. We have to first find out the maximum among all the counts so that we can find out the frequency. So we are iterating over the whole count map, as you can see, and find out the maximum count possible. That is the frequency of the whole array. Now what we can do is we will again iterate over this count map but now we'll only take out those frequencies that are equal to the count, not count, but the maximum count possible because the maximum count is actually the frequency that is the degree of the solar. So what we're doing here is that iterating over this count map again, and whenever the count becomes equal to maximum count, which means that this is a possible candidate for a degree part. What we are doing here is we have to minimize the last occurrence minus the first occurrence plus one, because let's say that the like it's just like the size of the subarray, which I've told you finding out the size of the subarray. last occurrence minus the first occurrence plus one. This will give you the length of the subarray, and you have to minimize it over all the possible candidates that have the same frequency as the maximum frequency. That is the degree of the array. And in the end, we just return on the answer. That is the overall logic and the code part for this problem. Nothing more complicated. You just have to build upon how you'll observe things. So thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you next one till I keep coding and bye.